welcome back to another episode of Blast Off. We're here. Whoa! Blasting off. Not quite yet. We're getting there though. We're we're making the way making our way downtown through this mod. It's been quite nasty in game in real life. There's a nasty storm went through my area just the other day. But everything's cool. So since last episode, I've been playing around a bit. I actually did get a few mob spawns in this nice little hut here. Um, there was a creeper, and he blew up. So that's the end of that. But I've done a bunch of crafting using, but in this, as you can see, we have both of these. And we need a basic wood cutter. Um, I, can, I did a solar engine and internal storage. We just need the farmer. We just need a few of those in there. And a few more of those. I'm just, I keep having to go get more iron because that's what I'm low on. If you look, I need two and I actually need to grab those two. We also need to grab a diamond because I have the parts to make our basic wood cutter. I believe if we look it up wood cutter basic wood cutter I need one more iron Ooh. I don't have any iron something that's made out of iron around here all right so the other thing I need to get is um, I need to get copper because I want to make more brass and I want to get um, onto Flax Beard Steam mod, but I can't seem to toss these in for some reason. I think that one just died. Oh no, I got it back. Um, so I need to go get copper. So let's go for a little walk. Why not, right? Um, which way? Probably this way. I don't usually go this way. So let's go mining out this way. Just a little bit. Probably won't take that long. Unless my, like, this jump boost crap makes it take way longer than it's supposed to, but whatever. But anyway, so how are you guys doing? Leave me a comment down below. Feels like it's been a really long time, but it really hasn't since I've been, since I recorded. Um, we just had the August long weekend, which was pretty awesome, which is a, a Canadian thing, I believe. Not a hundred percent sure on that, but I believe it's only a Canadian thing. We just, us Canadians love our, uh, love our holidays. Any more time that we can just sit around and chat, the better. Enjoy the weather before it gets cold again. Oh, that looks like a cool meteor. I'm gonna go check that out. There's some iron, which is sweet. So these things I've actually I used the. Whoa, do not want to fall there. Um, I use this jump to my advantage a lot when it comes to these towers. Should probably just start taking them all down, but. It just takes so much time to take one down that I just come and grab a bit of resources and then run away. Um, and not seeing any copper in this one though. They're usually coppers down in the middle kind of thing. But I'm not seeing any. Um, just gonna drop down there. Let's check. There are some ores down there, isn't there? So maybe it's worth getting a quarry at some point. We can definitely look into that. I want to go check out this nether, nether rack meteor over here. This looks cool. Oh no, it's still hot stuff. I believe that's what that is. Did I turn off? Wait, there's or something. There we go. It's Krakenite. What does this stuff do? 
can use it as fuel and it burns for 3300 ticks. Or you can turn it into freezerite. You do your crash detector, fire immunity stuff, fire aspect sword. Awesome. So yeah, we're definitely going to grab some of this. Temperature is burning hot. Oh, that one dropped a bunch. Did you see that? That block actually burnt as it was touching it. Kind of crazy. Alright, so this stuff's pretty awesome. Oh, and if I touch it, apparently... Well, no, I think... It's slowly going to turn into uh, obsidian. I'm not sure if that's if I touch it or not. No, if I touch it, it just hurts. So that's just slowly it will turn into obsidian, I guess. If I can grab a bunch of it, then uh, we can definitely use this stuff for new swords or stuff like that. Like it had some powers in a meteorite. Or in the meteor thing. There's, I think there's four different types of meteors, if I'm not mistaken. How much do we have of this stuff? 28. It doesn't seem to drop every time, and then other times it drops like four of them. It's kind of weird. So I'm going to go for a stack of this. Maybe I'll find some uh, copper. I'll meet you guys back at the house. Okay, just give me one second. Alright, so I went, grabbed some iron. Died. You know, the normal stuff when I'm out there. This, uh, this death counter here is starting to get pretty close to what it would actually be. If... <laughs> I was like if it actually counted right but for some reason it does not count right oh no my chest is full why are there sticks in there get out sticks what else I don't need another wreck shard you can just go on the ground put the sticks over here put those plates in there sweet and we probably also don't need that but we will pick those up eventually and we'll Probably. So if we're looking at a wood cutter, right? That's what we're going for. We can now make it. Sweet. Let's turn in the quest. Cargo manager or rails? Cargo manager. What do we got here? Large iron pane. Okay. And large dynamic pane. And then, if we look at rails, that's six. So what do we get? Two of those are 32, so this is six. This is a lot more, so let's do this. Um, sweet. So we have to complete all four of those before we're able to do that, eh? Advanced detector rail. Let's... Do we have our cart assembler? Like, did we end up making... We did make one of those, correct? Okay, so we got all that stuff. I thought we had to make one of those. Yeah, there we go. Cart assembler. Told you we'd pick it back up. Let's throw it over here. Which, by the way, I just want to check out my... Stop. Jeez. The mushroom room. Awesome. Get some growing of the crops. Let's turn that off. So yeah, we can make mushroom stew and stuff. Because of that room. Which is pretty awesome. So let's grab one of these sticks. 
and we're gonna click make 16 tracks I need a, a hull a cart hull did I? I thought I made a hull as well I don't remember yeah I did sweet so I take the hull I can add the solar engine to it that to it um, we also probably want the where did the rest that stuff we want the coal engine there as well just in case because um, then I can make a charcoal in the background um, because when the trees grow it might get a little too crazy so and we need storage we want internal storage I think that's all we need but if you look at this it's gonna take 24 minutes and that's not like 24 in-game minutes that's 24 friggin real minutes so this isn't gonna be done today and we can actually we can disassemble it and stuff um, we also need fuel in here there we go and I believe that's all we need. Basic woodcutter, internal storage. Let's look at um, Steve's carts just quick to make sure that there's nothing else that. I believe I can. The internal storage, I can uh, take stuff. Like I can uh, pull out of it. Um, I'm hoping at least. If not, then I have to figure something else. Cake server. Interesting. Alright, so let's give it a go. We'll just start that. And there's our progress. Time left. Awesome. So, well, that's, that is making itself. We're going to work on this steam stuff. I'm just curious, like we have the steam boiler right here, if we place this thing down, what does it look like? Okay, so maybe, do I have my thingy on me, um, it's in here, yeah it's in there, I dig out this, oh that's not gonna work. Yeah, because that's going to... Whoops. Alright, so not there. I have to redig that tunnel over here as well, so I can still get down. There we go. Okay, so... What about if we go this way, then? I'll just put it through here. And we will... T -t -t There's my hammer, so... On me. Just make a gigantic room over here. Can make it that big. One second. Sorry about that, big sneeze. Didn't really want to load your ears with goop. Okay, so if we place some torches down in here. Yeah, this isn't symmetrical, I know. One, two, three, one, two, three. Let's just do this, cheat. I'll just open this right up. One, two, one, two. Sweet. Yeah, I'm working with a, a room that size sucks. So I'm just going to do this. I don't even care if it's um, not symmetrical anymore. I just need it to be even or odd numbers so I can actually work. Let's just check to make sure. Yeah, there's no spots. Sweet. Um, 
so we can place our boiler right there for now. We're going to find out what that does in just a minute. Um, in here, how do we use the boiler? Um, water and fuel, steam will be produced, steam can be piped out the top. Alright, we need to make pipes with brass ingots or brass plates. Um, plates are actually cheaper. <laughs> you make that. Uh, do that. Yeah, plates are actually cheaper. If we look at our quest book, I believe we have a quest we can... I don't care about Doom... Doom Knight changing his thing. Steam heaters. Um, using this nifty, nifty steam heater, steam heats the copper coils and allows the furnace to smelt without fuel. Alright, so we can make these, right? Steam heaters. So we need... Where's our brass stuff? Brass plates. Let's make us some pipes. And we need this. We will need... Copper nuggets, which I think I have. Yeah, there we go. I need four, so I need to grab another one of those. And we have some cobblestone on us. One. We only have enough for three, don't we? Oh, we already have furnaces here. That's not a furnace. Didn't we have a bunch of furnaces though? Okay, there's one there. Um, so we'll do this. And then go like that. Place those there. Do this. And place the pipes. Sweet. Steam heaters. Roared. We got another boiler. Just because we need another one of those. I find myself needing more and more boilers as my steam usage continues to increase. Okay, so we need to put water, I guess, in this. So do we have water? There's the water under there, but I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna make another infinite water source down there. Need to put that right there. da dee da those things are loud, eh? Oh man. That sounded like that almost hit us. It did. Did that... What? That actually did some damage to my turret. That's why there was blood everywhere. Whoa, whoa, lag. Hello? Alright, and we're back. I don't know what that lag spike was about, but that kind of sucks that our thing is like that. So I'm going to pick this up, maybe. Hello? There we go. I'm going to set this out here. I also got all this stuff. So now we have lots of crick in right there. Which is kinda cool. Um, yes, water. That's what we're doing. It's looking intense there. Put this water here. We just click it in. Sweet. So let's just fill this thing up. Ah. Almost full. That was a lot of water. Okay, there we go. And then we just have to put some steam in it. Or some, uh, whoa. What is that? That cloud is like, I can't get out. Help. Help me. I'm going to put this out because this is getting a little 
a little smoky. Um, okay, and I need some kind of tank, I guess. It's the easiest one to make. These ones? Glass panes and obsidian. Do we have four obsidian? We do. And we have... Red meteor gems from meteorites should make the shield stronger. Okay. Okay, so we can't make that. No more glass in there. Oops. So we need our pipes too. We need just a few more pipes, right? So I'm gonna make them out of that. Put a pipe on top of this thing. We're gonna put a tank there. So we can store all the steam that we're generating right now. One more glass, come on. Give me one more, one more glass. That's all I need. Perfect. Two more tanks. We do this and this. It should connect. If we throw our coal in there, we should start producing steam. I'm not sure the rate in which we produce steam, but we will see. Okay, so we have steam there. Does it auto eject or does it wait? I do not know. Well, I'll fool around with that, um, because we can add, like we have both, we have two boilers here, so we could actually do this if we wanted to. Oh, so that does transfer, okay, so it just can't go into, it seems like it can't go into those, so if we just do... furnaces are on do we? Here we do. So we place a furnace down here. Place furnace heater on top. Um, maybe this is how you do it. connect those up and grab a piece of coal I don't think I have anything in the smelt currently but if we what can we smelt a lot of to smelt our osmium Let's see if this works because it said it should smelt 11. Before it has to... Um, before it uses that one piece of coal. But it seems to... It's just powering it. That's pretty awesome. So now we can just power it off of a little bit of coal. I guess that's what it means. You put the coal in here and it uses 11. So a little bit of coal in this stuff and we can uh, we can power our stuff. Um, we can actually probably add another one too if we wanted to. Does that make it go faster or something? I don't know. 
And for good measure, let's just, since we had to make four of them, let's do that. There we go. Perfect. Look how quick that is. Is that using all of our steam though? Yes, it is. So we need to grab our other boiler, put it right there, make a few more pipes. This is actually kind of cool. I know I said I was going to wrap it up, but now I'm having fun. Grab another thing of coal. I guess this is why, this is why there's so much coal. Uh, hook the pipe up. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh. Get dehydration from doing that, which is just awesome. Alright, so where are we at now? We're almost keeping that thing running. A strobe light. I don't know if there's a limit cap to these pipes, maybe? Okay, so there we go. We're generating steam out of both of them. Maybe I need to remove that because it doesn't seem to be working with that. It's because it didn't have the uh, backlog. I am not sure. So we can do that for now. We'll mess around with this more in the next episode. Though, um, as always, make sure you check out my social media links in the description. There'll be a Twitter and a Facebook and all that fun stuff down there. And uh, yeah, I hope to catch you in the next one. And until then, guys, we have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.